architecture is both a system of constructing buildings, designing the environment, but it's also a way of understanding the world. And when it comes to brutal occupation regimes, architecture fulfills the role of uh, control, of supervision. Uh, architecture can become also a means of oppression. Forensic architecture is a way of using architectural tools and techniques in order to interrogate the world around ourselves, and particularly uh, systems of power and oppression. What kind of drew me to forensic architecture was the ability to use the tools of uh, virtual reconstruction, architectural tools, in order to understand the space of violence and use those tools in a way that was productive for civil society. When we work together uh, collectively on something that we call situated testimonies, very often we build uh, immersive 3D environments. We build them together with survivors of atrocities who may sometimes remember things in, in fragments and ruins. By building models together, by paying attention to the smallest of things, we are able to arrive at, uh, at a reconstruction together uh, that is most uh, precise and is also healing. As we continue to develop uh, new methodologies, we are able to increasingly find new ways of visualizing and kind of making visible, um, otherwise invisible and, and difficult to trace uh, forms of violence. Our aim is always bigger than the one case. Our aim is also to show that civil society groups, that um, spatial aesthetic practitioners can actually speak back to power, to empower people seeking liberation by providing particular tools and, and, and unique techniques that, with which uh, power can be confronted.